Hey guys, what's up? It's Amanda here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm super, super sorry about the infrequent uploads with this series. My life has been absolutely hectic as of late. Um, I super, super apologize. I really hope you guys are still interested in seeing more of the history challenge as much as I am for playing it. Um, but yeah, life's just been crazy. Like the last couple of weeks um, alone have been hectic. I uh, just want to explain a little bit. I essentially was a contractor for a company that is hurting for money right now. And so they cut my contract position early because they couldn't afford it anymore. So I've been dealing with job searching. I've been dealing with a super busy summer with like nonstop plans. I kid you not, you guys, I felt like I couldn't breathe this summer. So super apologize on that front. I'm really hoping now that I have cut out a little bit of stress, you know, whether that was intentional or not. Obviously, I want a job. Um, but since I don't have that obligation currently, I'm going to try to pre-upload a couple of different episodes and plan another recording session next week for a few future episodes as well for the History Challenge. I really hope you guys are understanding. Um, I hope you guys have been doing well. And with that being said, let's just get right into the video. So as you guys probably remember, this is our cute little house setup. I don't know why it's super framey right now. I guess ignore that for now. Hopefully that adjusts itself. But um, as you guys remember, we're working with Pebbles here. She's our first matriarch in the uh, prehistoric era. We've got Darius, which is her son, and Demetra here, who is the young daughter. I'm not sure why she has blonde hair. I think her father may have had blonde hair. Let's just check back at the relationships. I don't even remember anymore like what's going on hold on a second who who does she have a relationship with okay so franco is her father possibly i feel like the kids know well know their parents at least know of them and their existence in the sims 4 so i'm assuming franco is her dad actually so i don't know why she has blonde hair when her parents both have black hair so i'm probably gonna adjust that at some point um but here we are as you remember we've I think are currently pregnant with Connell's baby. We have Franco and Foster here who are our previous baby daddies. Um, and so the goal of this generation, just to like give you guys a little bit of a refresher here, is to reach level 10 in fishing, gardening, and handiness on the same sim, which is obviously pebbles. Earn 20,000 simoleons from selling rocks, fossils, frogs, and woodwork, which we currently have like 6,000 simoleons. Let me double check on that. 5,924, so pretty much 6,000. We've, we've got a ways to go on that. Have the same sim, have children with at least five different sims. We're on the way. We have three currently. The third is not yet born. Catch an angler fish worth at least 1,500 simoleons. That one's going to be very tricky because I have to do some research on where angler fish exist in the sims for. And then have no family member die of anything other than old age. So that's going to be a struggle considering that it's now winter time in our game. Um, and, uh, I really don't know how I feel about that. Uh, they live outside as well. I think that's why we chose Oasis Springs, uh, because the weather is a little less harsh in this neighborhood, but you know, we'll see how the winter pans out. I'm really hoping they stay alive. I hope it doesn't get too cold. I hope it doesn't snow. Um, but we'll, we'll find out what happens here. I played a little bit off camera just to like make a small bit of progress. I believe I leveled up her handiness skill or like got super close to leveling up her handiness skill. Let's see here, we've got fishing at level eight. So she's really close on fishing already. Her handiness is almost at level six. Yeah, almost, okay. And then gardening is at level five. So we have to get all those to level 10 at some point through this series as well. So she's doing really good with fishing, um, considering that's what they survive off of to, you know, stay alive in this type of situation. Um, what is your problem? Oh, honey, go potty. Go, go potty, my sweet little bean. Oh my goodness, Demetra is like about to poop her pants, which is not good. Um, does mom have any fish in her inventory? She does not. Okay, so we should probably give Demetra some food. Let's drop some lemons on the ground because she's very hungry. I know I have some food in her inventory, but I just don't want her to go through everything I put in there for her. So we'll just put some lemons on the ground for her to eat. Yes, we're feeding our kids lemons. Do I care? No. <laughs> this is just how the way of life of the um, prehistoric era is going to go for these guys, unfortunately. 
Um, yeah, definitely fertilize that bush because I don't want you peeing your pants either. Um, since Darius is a child, we could have him go fishing to like get his own food per se. Um, and I might as well have Pebbles come join him over here. Um, just because, you know, fish is a little bit better than eating just fruits and veggies. For a child, it's not a big deal, but um, I think for Pebbles and her son, we need to focus on making sure they have a well-rounded diet here with some protein. Um, we can always cook for Demetra as well, but it's just a little bit of an added stress just considering that she is a child and she really is reliant on her mom for her food right now. Um, and mom can only do so much at the current moment just because, you know, she's got to feed herself, but she also has to worry about her two children. And it's just, it's a lot for her to manage. Um, I don't know why I'm going to reset her. I feel like I keep telling her to go fishing and she doesn't. So that's kind of a problem. Okay, there she goes, finally. Okay. All right. And those two are fishing. What do we want you to work on? Your hunger is still kind of low. Let's have you... Oh, I don't want that to be your favorite. I don't... I don't know. It's kind of weird to have a favorite vegetable. Well, I suppose I have a favorite vegetable. I like carrots too, but you know what I mean. Um, wait, what was that notification? Celebrate Demetra's birthday. Oh, sweet. It's too bad we can't cook her a birthday cake just because, you know, they're in the, the prehistoric era. They only rely on this freaking fire here, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, um, I guess that's happening. I guess Demetra is going to be a child, which is going to make it a little bit easier to like, you know, do the gameplay for sure. Um, and then we've got these two fishing over here. Oh my gosh, mental skill level eight. That is insane. Did you catch any fish, buddy? He did. He caught a goldfish, which, um, I mean, I suppose that's fine. I don't know. Um, I feel really bad making him eat a goldfish, but you know, what you got is what you got in the prehistoric times. So I'm going to have mom come over here and light the fire. And then I'll have them sit around the fire and uh, grill up the fish that they caught. I really hope she found some fish. Let me see here. She did. She caught a perch, which is better eating than goldfish, honestly. But, you know, this kid's going to do with what he has. So we're going to have them both roast their fishies. Um, Demetra is doing pretty good, minus her hygiene. It really sucks because we can't really have a bathtub. However, I do know there is a bathtub that you can craft at the handiness, aka the woodworking table, once you get to a certain skill level. So we really need to start grinding away, I think, with Pebbles working on her, um, handiness skill to try to make a bathtub so she can bathe her toddlers in the future. I feel really bad because Demetra and obviously Darius never experienced bath time, but we really can't, you know, get caught up in that because it's kind of out of our realm. It's out of our control. So, and it's, you know, it's a part of the challenge rules. You're only allowed a certain bit of objects and stuff. Um, so we'll, we'll see what we can do, but Darius is done eating. Darius is kind of low on hygiene. I'm just going to have him wash his hands a few times in the sink here and brush his teeth. Um, and then I think, Darius, did you catch any other fish? You did not. Let's have you go fishing again, and then we can sell what you catch, because you're not hungry. I don't think any of them... Well, I guess Demetra could... Oh my gosh, I keep hitting favorite. I guess Demetra could probably stand eat some more food, but we still have some carrots and stuff in her inventory, so we might as well have her stock up on that. Um, and then, okay, you're done with that, which is awesome. Let's have you work on an end table here. It doesn't really matter. We just need to get your skills up. We also can sell everything that she makes. Um, everything is going to be ending up in her household inventory when she makes furniture. So we'll have to go in there at some point and just do a huge haul selling everything that she's made. Um, just so we can, like, continue getting our funds higher. Um, we might as well have you go potty because you know, it's something for you to do. There's not much for the poor little toddlers to do. Oh, Darius caught a future cube. We could totally sell that. Also, it looks like she's got some stuff to, to harvest, so we might as well work on that. Oh, you also have to weed these. And water? Oh boy, she's got a lot of work cut out for her. That's fine. Um, let's have her... Oh, nice. We just unlocked some new stuff that she can craft. We can craft a dining table and dining chairs now. That could be pretty nice. I don't really know if they have enough space on their land for that, but 
you know, it would be kind of nice to have a little table for them to sit at while they eat their food together, I think, instead of sitting around the fire. Or just, you know, another spot for them to hang out, essentially. So that's kind of nice. We might as well have little Demetra here go to sleep, just because she's getting really tired. Um, and Darius just got to level 9 mental skill. Oh my gosh, good kid. Good kid. Okay, we also caught a guppy, so let's sell that. Let's sell this future cube as well. 300 simoleons. Nice catch, kid. Nice catch. Oh my gosh. Things are slowly coming together here. Oh, and it looks like Mama Pebbles is going to need to use the restroom. So I'm going to have her take a quick break from doing her woodworking, and then we'll have her resume the dining table. I feel so bad for her. Like, she's really just rising and grinding and working away at making sure her kids and herself have the best life for what she can give them. Um, and she's just constantly working. Yes, please get some sleep. Definitely get some sleep. Um, and Darius, they don't go to school in the prehistoric times, so he's just gonna have bad grades, but it's fine. He's level nine mental skill. Like this kid is definitely talented. Um, and so we're not necessarily worried about that, I would say. Um, okay, buddy, what have you caught so far? You've caught, oh, you caught that. Nice, let's sell that. I think eventually it'd be kind of cool to like, oh, we caught a lump of clay, good. They have another thing for them to work on and have fun with, that's good. That's good, if you're not catching stuff that is food, it's totally fine, buddy, it's totally fine. Um, at least he's got another thing to entertain himself with. I'm gonna have him come fertilize the bush here and then um, I'm going to have him eat some strawberries that he has in his inventory just because he is getting a little bit hungry and we sold the fish that he caught. We probably shouldn't have done that in hindsight, but it's totally fine. Like we, we need to keep working at making money as well as letting them survive and live. So, you know, it's, it's the way of the game. We can, we can have him survive off of some strawberries. He did get some food. He did get some fish earlier on, so he's not, like, depriving himself or anything, but um, I just want to make sure they're taking care of themselves. His hygiene's getting low again. Um, I don't even know how that is possible because I feel like I just had him wash his hands and brush his teeth, but that's totally okay as well. Let's have him go to sleep as well. They don't really need... Um, you know, like a regular sleep schedule. It's clearly two in the afternoon in the game and they're all sleeping, but it doesn't necessarily matter. Just because, you know, she doesn't have a job to wake up to or anything. Like her job is just essentially taking care of her family. So, and it looks like Demetro's hungry again. I'm just gonna have mom after she's done going to the restroom to go fishing. Cause maybe we can get her to catch some food and maybe we can cook Demetra a nice little meal. Um, in the meantime, let's tie her over with some carrots and sage and have her play with her little toy just so she's not upset. Um, yeah, that should hold her off for a decent amount of time. Um, Darius, why did you... Oh, he's cleaning the dishes! How sweet of him! Uh, buddy, your energy is still not high. Let's send you back to bed. And, uh, Pebbles is just now getting to the fishing zone. So let's see if she can have any luck catching some fish for her kiddos to eat, as well as herself. It looks like she may have just caught one. Nice, okay, she caught a tetra, which, I don't know about eating tetras, but you know, we gotta survive off of what we have. We should also breed our frogs. Oh man, we're not getting any new frogs. I feel like there should be, maybe there is a guide. I don't know, I haven't found one. If you guys know of a nice frog breeding guide, guide, I can English. If you guys know of a frog breeding guide on the internet from The Sims 4, I would really like to look at that so I can try to get some new frogs. Um, just because I feel like we keep getting the same ones. It's fine because we can sell them, but I don't know. I just, I feel like it might be nice to catch a variety and do a different, you know, system of breeding if we can get different kinds. Oh, nice. A walleye. That is like one of the best lake fish you can ever freaking eat. I don't know if you guys have ever had walleye, but I'm from Minnesota and it's kind of like a delicacy here. Honestly, um, it's so good. It's obviously not comparable to like ocean fish in my opinion, but um, it's still really freaking good. 
Um, let's have Darius come go fishing again, just because I don't know what else I should really have him work on right now. Uh, Demetra's really hungry. I think Pebbles is gonna have to cook up the first fish for Demetra so she doesn't starve. <laughs> Um, we have a bunch of tetras. I don't know what she's cooking right now. Is she gonna give this kid the walleye? No, she's not. She's cooking up a tetra. Perfect. I'm gonna sell the other two tetras, and then she's gonna cook up the walleye for herself. Just because I feel like mom deserves a better food palette, if that makes sense. Okay, put the fish down so your kiddo can eat that. I'm gonna have her add another log as well, just so, you know, that doesn't spoil. And then we can cook up her fish for her. Demetra, honey, come on, go eat the roasted fish, please. Thank you. Okay, and then you're gonna go ahead and roast your walleye. Oh, hold on, wait. Oh, son of a gun. Yeah, please go, go pee first. Oh my gosh, did I just read that right? Darius just got to level 10 fishing, AKA the mental skill as a child. Oh no, and then when we clicked on the fire to tell her to cook the fish, it ate the fish. Oh, now she doesn't even have her walleye to eat. This poor girl. This poor girl. Okay, um, you, my lovely little kiddo, how about you go play in the tent? Just because I don't know what else you can really do right now. Um, and then Darius, I'm gonna have you come roast. Oh, you don't have a fish. Wait, buddy. Darius, uh, go fishing, you silly little goof. He just wants to play with his robot toy. That is so funny. Okay, go fishing with your mom, okay? Get yourself some dinner, because you're getting hungry. You can't keep relying on mom. You're gonna have to live on your own at some point. I know you're a child, but like, I feel like in the prehistoric era, they were kind of like, okay, kids, fend for yourselves, like, <laughs> They had more, like, larger threats to worry about, I feel like. Um, okay, let's... Since that fishing zone isn't working for you, buddy, where can we have you fish? I feel like there's some other spots up this way, potentially, that he could work on. I'm just gonna teleport him over here, because I don't feel like having him walk the entire way. Um, just because, I don't know, I just think it's a waste of time. Um, but let's have her continue to fish over here. Just in case Darius doesn't end up catching anything. Hopefully mom can catch him a solid meal. Oh my gosh, she's at fishing level 9. <gasps> oh, that's incredible. Oh, she's getting so close to finishing that um, aspiration as well, which is super exciting. Oh, good for her. And Pebbles also just caught another guppy. Oh! <gasps> Demetra's gonna be a kid! Oh, yay! You guys know the drill. Uh, and if you don't, James Turner has this fantastic website out, um, and it's called James Turner's Random Trait Generator. Um, and you guys can find it in my link in my video. But, you know, we're gonna go ahead and use this to get the kids' traits, just because I don't think we're allowed to pick. Um, okay, so we've got a rambunctious scamp, so she's very into being active, and she's a kleptomaniac. Okay, um, interesting, but, you know, whatever floats your boat, kiddo, we're not gonna judge you. Or are we? Um, but now Demetra is a child. We have to give her a makeover, because I want her to fit the era. So, let me get our cheats typed in for Cass. Dot full edit mode. Okay. I'm also gonna make her have darker hair because I feel like I said, I don't know, two parents that have dark hair should come out with a child that has at least, landline has at least dark brown hair in my opinion, but we'll give her a little touch up here. Yes, we still have a landline. I don't, why? I don't know. Uh, I think it's a part of the TV bundle that we have. Um, it's just cheaper to keep the landline than like get rid of it. Um, oh, this is gorgeous. <gasps> Why is she so cute though? Well, we're not gonna go super crazy with the makeover. I just wanna give her like a slightly different look. Oh, these eyebrows look so cute on her. Wait, what about this one? Oh, that's really nice too. I don't like how thin it is though. 
I think this one works a little bit better. I also don't really think I like how um, arched her eyebrows are. I think it's maybe the angle. So if I rotate that up a little bit, maybe move them down. I don't want to change her appearance too much just because... I don't know. I feel like then you're making an entirely new sim and the genetics, there's really no point in having. Um, but let's find her a nice outfit to fit the era. Um, I've been putting them all in like brown clothing if I can't find anything super suitable, but let's kind of just scroll and see what we have in here. Um, not seeing anything yet. Okay, these are good for like I don't even know what generation that's going to be, but that, that will be good for the future. Um, honey, I don't really know. I don't really know. I don't... I wonder if this dress has some sort of, like, thing that could work. No, they're... It's all white. Okay, let's see if we can just filter by the color brown. And see what we can find. Um, I feel like something cozy and cute like this could be really nice. And then maybe we can give her some... Oh, these are cute. <gasps> I love those pants. Do they have a brown swatch or like a green swatch? They do. Oh my goodness. How precious. This is so cute. I don't even know if she needs shoes per se. So we'll just go without. Um, formal wear. I don't really know what we can do with this. Let me filter by the color brown again. It's not like we're going to ever be, like, wearing our formal wear, per se, but just so she doesn't have, like, a super modern outfit, I feel like might be a good idea. Um, that's a little modern. A little too modern for my liking. That one's broken. Okay, love that for us. We could throw her in this. I know it's not necessarily prehistoric, but it's still era-related, so... We might as well go that route. Athletic wear. Let's just give her a nice cozy t-shirt or sweatshirt. And then I think these shorts could be okay. I wonder if we have a brown swatch. We totally do. Perfect. And no shoes needed. Sleepwear. Let's put her in. I think we've probably got something cozy for her to wear. Like this dress might be nice. Yeah, I think that's kind of cute. It's not necessarily prehistoric, like I said, but it's super hard to find, like, prehistoric clothes for the younger Sims for this generation. So we'll just kind of find her whatever works. I don't know why you all of a sudden have one of these, like, hair cover-up hats on, but, I mean, you look cute in it. It just, um, is not really the vision for this. Okay, and then sleepwear... Oh, this is swimwear. Okay, um, let's give you this, like, brown swatch along with these brown shorts. I feel like I do that for almost all of the outfits, but, you know, again, I'm just trying to make it look earthy. I also don't know why she's got all these, like, weird bracelets on, but we're definitely gonna get rid of that. Um, okay, perfect. Hot weather... This one could be pretty easy. I think we could do something like this, like a knitted shirt. I think that looks really cute on her. Maybe it's a little too modern, though. Um, let's do... Oh, that looks kind of nice. I don't know. Um, you know what? Nah, let's go with that crop top kind of sweater thing. And then we'll give her the same shorts that she has for her swimwear. We also don't need any shoes. And then... This is for cold weather, it looks like. I want to get her something cozy looking. Um, let's go with these brown pants here. I don't know why she all of a sudden has short hair for her outerwear, but we're going to ignore that. Um, let's give her her long hair back. That's super weird. Like, all of a sudden, could you guys imagine just having, like... I suppose if you have wigs, right, you could do this, but could you just imagine all of a sudden, like, oh, I'm in my... Hot weather wear, I all of a sudden have short hair. Like, what? That just doesn't commute. But I think she looks good. Let's go back to some gameplay now. Okay, so Pebbles is done fishing, it looks like. I wonder how many fish she actually caught. Okay, she's got two in her inventory, which is a good start. Again, I don't know why my computer is being this framey. 
every so often. It's super confusing. Um, okay, this little one, let's have her fertilize the bush. And then she's super, super in need of hygiene. Um, she never got a bath as a toddler because her mom still does not have a tub for them. Um, so we're gonna have her go wash her hands a couple of times as well, just because I feel really bad. She's been neglected, but also- <gasps> Are you kidding me? Okay, she's fine. <laughs> oh my god, I was about to like freak out for a second. I was like, not another fire. Like, we haven't had one this episode, but they definitely happen quite often. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, also, Darius, you have a fish to cook too, so you might as well roast that fishy here. Might be a good idea for you to do that. Also, I don't know where these kids keep getting those toy robots from, but I'm not complaining, because... Darius has two. Maybe he's catching them. Oh gosh, she's in labor. This poor girl. Yes, eat your meal and then I guess you gotta push a baby out. I'm super sorry, hun. We also have to have her add a log because Darius is gonna cook his fish and I don't want it to go bad. So let's have her quickly add a log to the fire so Darius can cook his fish in peace. Also, we need to have her fertilize the bush again. This pregnancy is really getting to her, so. Okay, nice, buddy. Let's have you roast your, you don't have a fish to roast. Wait, I thought you did. You had your, your discus fish. Okay, well, we've got this guppy here that his mom can at least give to him. I'm sorry that you have to eat a guppy, but, you know, you're hungry, so you have to do what you have to do. Also, I'm gonna have him fertilize this bush. Um, it looks like Demetra is sleeping, which is totally fine. She deserves some rest. Mom needs to get her hygiene up, actually. So I'm gonna have her wash her hands a few times, brush her teeth, you know, do the regular drill. Um, well, hopefully Darius doesn't run out of a fire here. Oh, thank God he didn't. Okay. Okay, that's good. Um, Darius, what the heck are you doing? Why are you cooking, like, three different meals? You literally have your roasted fish up there. Please eat that. Thank you, buddy. And then let's have him fertilize that bush. And then we can also send him to bed, I think. Also, I'm not sure if this crib actually works here. Um, I do know there's a mod that allows you to get, like, floating babies and stuff. But, like, just in case that's not a thing... I am going to go ahead and get one of those cribs from the Realm of Magic pack, just because I feel like it fits this kind of vibe, I think. Um, at least it's like, you know, wood looking and all of that. Um, okay, where are they? Comfort. I think they're under beds. At least I hope they are. I don't know how else I'm going to find it. I could probably, you know, we could filter. We could filter by kids maybe let's try that let's try that let's go to the kids room and try to find the crib here um god with all this cc it makes it so hard to see okay this one could work as well here it is this is the one i was thinking about and we could put that potentially right by the tent like so just so she has a spot for the baby. I think that's probably our best bet. Unless it ends up floating. Maybe I do have the floating baby mod in my game. I really don't remember. I don't think I do. Buddy, why didn't you finish your fish? Oh, she's having the baby. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, she is. She's just gonna plop it out on the ground. Okay. <laughs> that works. Baby boy! Yay! Okay, so. I didn't see any name suggestions. But maybe we should stick with to D names. Let's see here. Um, baby boy D names. Because I feel like we've got a trend going here. We could be like the, the Kardashians, but of Ds. That sounds so bad. Um, Dylan, Declan, Diego. I like Diego. Let's go with Diego. Go, Diego, go. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I absolutely adore that name that is so cute okay and yep we do have the floating baby mod which is nice so i can get rid of that crib um because we can put little baby diego in here and kind of just like have him float i think if i do testing cheats on 
and then bb.moveObjects. We should be able to set him here. I think mom should still be able to access him as well. I think just in case, let's switch to the Sims 3 camera, rotate it a little bit, maybe like, maybe this way. And we'll just kind of plop him right here. How cute, I love it. Okay, and then let's have her take care of baby Diego and then we need to send her to bed. I know we should probably get her pregnant with the next baby, but we're not really necessarily on a time crunch to pop kids out. We just need to have a total of five with five different sims, so we'll get there eventually. Um, I'm gonna send all of these kiddos to bed as well, just because they're all super, super tired. Um, but welcome to the world, baby Diego. You are so freaking cute. Aw, he's just having some foodies right now, it looks like, but that is beyond adorable. Okay, and you, my lovely, I don't know where you got that llama toy from, but you can keep that in your inventory. Um, she's also kind of hungry, and um, she's not super tired, so I'm actually going to have her come over here and go fishing. Hopefully she can catch something to eat. Um, buddy, you're supposed to be sleeping. I don't know why you woke up. That's really weird. It's kind of, kind of stressing me out a little bit. Oh, wait, mom, before you sleep, we do need you to weed and harvest your plants here. We just need to make sure you're genuinely taking care of your stuff so it doesn't die. Um, I really hope she doesn't need to water it. It looks like it's raining out, so I don't, yeah, she doesn't need to water the plants, which is nice. Okay, now you can go to sleep, Pebbles, I promise. I promise. And Demetra is going down here to fish. Finally, we don't have our weird game leg happening. Um, I love how it's towards the end of the episode that my game starts to cooperate again. But hey, what can we do? We can't control it. Oh, <gasps> she caught her first fish. Oh, what a sweet thumbnail this could be. Oh, baby. She looks so happy. Well, <laughs> not really. Um, but that's fine. She, um, she caught a fish, though. Demetra, you should be a little bit happier. Oh, she's sad because she didn't get a birthday celebration. Get over it. Your brother didn't either, okay? None of you kids are gonna have proper birthdays. It's just not happening. Not in the, not in the prehistoric era. We can't cook you a cake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And most of the time I say bake, but in The Sims, I just think it's funny that you cook cakes. If you know, you know. Um, but, oh, and now you gave up. Okay, well, I mean, at least you did catch a fish. Also, it's raining out now, so I don't even think she can, she can even eat it. So, I guess we'll just sell it. Um, and then I think we'll get her some food from mom's inventory. I feel really bad, because she is hungry. And she's got nothing to eat now that it's raining out, because she can't even cook her fish. So, I'm just gonna plop down some food on the ground. We can throw it in her inventory. I'm gonna have her eat the ones on the ground though, just so she has some nutrition. It's a lot easier to do it this way. Perfect, okay. Very nice. Oh, you're still needing some. Okay, eat this one and eat that one then. You're not gonna like fitness, but I don't want you to dislike fitness. I mean, maybe we should have said yes, because she is a motor sim, but we can always go back into Cass, I guess, and give that to her. I always read things and then click off them before I even finish reading them. It's a really bad habit. I don't know if any of you guys do that too. And then it's like, wait, what did the game say to me? Oh, my sim's dying soon? Great. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm... One of my awful habits in The Sims is just ignoring all the little pop-ups. Um, my Twitch chat gets really mad at me because we'll be playing a 100 baby challenge and then somebody in the family timeline dies and they're like, who died? And I'm like, I don't know. I didn't answer the phone. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really phased by it, but you know, that's how it be. Um, but I think we are going to end the episode here, you guys. We made some progress. We got um, Pebble's skills up quite a bit. We had her have baby Diego. Um, we also had Demetra age up, which is super exciting. Um, but yeah, we'll cut it here just because I feel like my past episodes have been super long. And I don't, don't necessarily want that for the future of this series. So quick, easy episodes. I'll play a little bit off camera. Nothing super like concerning that you're going to miss. Um, I think I'll just have her work on some of the skills while we're 
off camera um, just so we can make some more progress and progress the timeline a little bit faster. But thank you guys so much for watching. And again, I super apologize for the infrequent uploads. I'm going to try to get better at it. I promise. I really hope I can. Um, but thank you guys so much for just being amazing and being here and watching the content. It means a lot to me. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya. Bye. Hoot out.